Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. This is going to be a series. I'm going to be going through Haruki Minikami's books one by one. Um, today we're talking about two books, but only because they they come packaged that way. Uh, I have no way of getting a hold of the original translations or the original uh, versions. I, I haven't even found any on eBay. But uh, we're talking about Wind, Hear the Wind Sing, and Pinball 1978, I want to say. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Uh, yeah, he, no, 1973. So, Hear the Wind Sing and Pinball 1973. Haruki Murakami himself has said that he's not fond of uh, these books, especially not their English translations that were published, of course, very early on in his career. Even the covers are kind of terrible um, from, <laughs> from what I've seen. This one's pretty nice. It's a nice, it's actually the only, other than the new uh, Killing Commandantori, uh, it's the only hardcover I own of his, which is unfortunate, but his books are expensive. Um, especially the older stuff. But this one, the first book, Hear the Wind Sing, I don't remember much about, period. Um, it was a very bland story. Uh, I must, I must also, I must also interrupt myself here and kind of preface this review with, this author is fantastic. He is my favorite author right below Stephen King. Um, yeah, I buy everything he, he publishes in ebook, paper, uh, paper and uh, audio. This is not a good start. Um, the, and you understand that you know people grow over time, and that's exa it was the whole reason why I bought this, knowing he didn't like it. The whole reason I bought it was to see where he had come from. Now these are new translations, so there's no telling how terrible the old translations are, but I know he's not happy with them. Uh, the first one, I see nothing of the Hiroki Mirakami that I've come to love over time. Whereas with Pinball 1973, the second uh, short novel in here, I would say they're both novellas by American standards. Uh, I mean, both books together are... Give me just a second... Um, 233 pages, and it's pretty big, pretty big type there. There, bud. There, bud. Anyways, um, the second one is better in that you feel that that sense of dislocation that you get with Mirakami so often. Um, like in books with uh, what is it, the one Hardboiled Wonderland at the end of the world, something like that. His titles throw me off sometimes. One Q eight four. Uh, we'll get to all those, but there's a sense of dislocation that you read when, with, that you get when you read his stuff, and that's my favorite part of reading his books. Um, but Pinball, you start right at the end. As the book is coming to a close, you start to feel that Mirakami that, that every, I've, I feel everybody has come to know and love. Uh, I, would, I don't review this book very highly. I think I give it a total of two stars. Um, that's because one star for the terrible first book, and then three stars for the mediocre second book. Um, there's not too much of a reason to read this one. Um, if you are going to start with Haruki Mirakami, I highly recommend you start with After Dark. My friend Gregor told me that's where I should start. Um, it is his shortest, quickest read, um, and... It, it, definitely try that out before you jump into something like 1Q84 or the Wind Up Bird Chronicles. Those book, well, Wind Up Bird Chronicles is like 700 pages long, and 1Q84 is his like magnum opus at over a thousand pages. I think it's like 1120 pages. Anyways, um, but check out After Dark. It's one of his newer books, um, and I feel that it is a perfect starting place for anybody who wants to try Haruki Mitakami, um, so if you get into that book and you're like, this is weird and I need to step away from it, trust me, you will not like anything this guy publishes except for maybe Norwegian Wood. But we'll talk about that more when we get there. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!